Good morning, clan. Welcome to day 1291. We are all packed up and ready to head out of Pleasant Harbor RV Resort. Uh, the swags left bright and early this morning. I've already made a trip home to drop off the dirt bikes, drop off Lucy, uh, while everyone else was packing up and cleaning up here. So I just uh, secured the trailer and we are ready to roll out. Bam! And just like that, we are back at a new campground fully unloaded, hooked up, and ready to rock and roll. This is Distant Drums RV Resort, RV Park. I'm not sure which one it is. RV Park, RV Resort, what do they call it? They call it an RV Resort. These are resorts, baby, resorts. That's how we stay in is resorts. Uh, it's actually really nice. The landscaping is really nice. These spots are really nice with this giant concrete like patio with uh, some nice landscaping around us. Full hookups, so we can dump our, dump our poopers right here. And they're, uh, they're really full. There's only a couple spots to choose from with full hookups, so we're pretty excited. We're right here along the road, and uh, just over the highway there is Cliff Castle Casino, which we'll be visiting here in a day or two. But for now, I'm gonna go take a shower because I have not done that today, and I need to because I'm kind of stinky and sweaty. Uh, we're gonna go to the grocery store, grab uh, the essentials for the next couple of days, and then we'll do a little exploration here of the campgrounds um, because uh, like a lot of places we've been to, there's a lot of cool things they have here for their, um, their tenants. So we're gonna walk around, check it out, and uh, you guys get to come along for the ride. All right, I'm all showered, cleaned up, nice and pretty looking. And we're here at La Fonda's Mexican food restaurant. Where are we at, is this Camp Verde? I so. It's Camp Verde, best Mexican food in town. When the population's like 500. <laughs> <You're so laughs> it's the only Mexican food restaurant in town. So it's the best. No, it's, it's good reviews, good reviews. So I'm, I'm excited, I'm starving. What? Digging in. Good. Good taco. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. It's so pia time. Complimentary so pias after each meal. And the trick is, you pop a hole in it and you fill it with honey. And what you do is you just kind of like roll it around. See, like the honey's on the bottom. Kind of roll it around the inside. Get it all nice and glazed. Oh, yeah. Daddy, can you pour it inside mine? You don't think you can do it? Once I've tried and I got it all over my hands. Was it sticky? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Sierra. Just in time for some peas. I got the fattest one. All right, guys, so we just got done eating some great Mexican food, finished off with some silver peas, and now we're grocery shopping. <laughs> <laughs> we're so full. I told her though, it's probably better that we're sipping with a full stomach than shopping with an empty stomach. Because then when you empty stomach, like you want everything. So we're just kind of trying to figure out what we need. We know that we're going to be um, out and about most of the time, which means we're probably eating out most of the time. Um, so just, you know, the, the essentials, some snacks, um, maybe one dinner. So we got all the essentials for the next couple of days and then we're back at the uh, campgrounds here. And again, it's called uh, Distant Drums RV Resort. There's our trailer, nice spot, like I said. And all of these streets are one way. Very nice, very cozy, uh, very simple to get in and out of. And uh, like I said earlier, they're pretty full. There's only like a handful of spots that are open. And like I said, for the size of our trailer with full hookups, we only had a couple of choices. Um, but we like where we're at, it's very nice. And so uh, now we're uh, grabbing the dog and we're gonna go for a walk. There you go, baby. Got a nice little dog run here. Dogs can kind of run around free range. Oh, they got a horseshoe pit. Yeah, I saw that. Baby, ready? Walk in it. So they have a book exchange. You can take one, leave one. All these different books, mostly adult books. Though I, I thought they, when they said library, I was thinking, oh, cool, they have a library for kids. Nope. It's all adult books for the most part, but it's a cool concept. When people, especially when people are traveling, you can leave a book here and grab one and take it with you. 
And most most places have stuff like this, so it's kind of cool. Well, you don't leave your book. Well, it's kind of the rule. It's, you've already read it, so let someone else read it. We've got showers and bathrooms for people to use. And a laundry mat to do your laundry. Cool. Oh, and an exercise room. Look at that, fitness room. There you go. That's cool. Lift goals and stuff, you wanna work out. Laundry room if you wanna do your laundry. So kind of low key evening, uh, getting into the campgrounds uh, in the middle of the afternoon, grabbed a late lunch, early dinner, grocery shopping, kind of just walking, exploring the uh, campgrounds, which wasn't a whole lot, small campground, but uh, you know, very nice, very cool. And uh, just kind of just chilling here in the in the trailer. That's kind of why we bought it, right? We got so much space, and it's it's comfortable, very comfortable, too comfortable. <laughs> look, at, look at this. They took off the couch cushions to make the couch bigger, and all four of them are chilling on the couch. Uh, there's definitely not room for me. I would take up that whole thing. First, mommy and daddy, or mommy and Bryce, were laying down right here, and I was just like sitting on the side over here. And then baby just jumps on them and just jumps and lays on them. And she's literally she's like, sitting on them. She like earlier her butt was right there. Like, In your face? Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we head off to the Out of Africa Wildlife Preserve or Zoo. And it's kind of like a zoo. It's kind of like Arizona. <laughs> I'm wearing Arizona shirt actually. It's kind of like Arizona. It's like a wildlife preserve. It's called Out of Africa. Uh, and they have a zip line. So we're gonna be doing a zip line. And first time doing the zip line. First time for these guys doing the zip line. So all kinds of fun stuff. So stay tuned. You're not gonna want to miss it. It's just how we kicking off our uh, the rest of our fall break. Got lots more action, lots more fun to take care of, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Log on.